Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the DC animated movie Batman Soul of the Dragon. Now this here is my uh, copy that I have uh, on a uh, 4K HD. Now my copy, as usual, also came for a collectible figure of a uh, bronze tiger right there as you can see inside the box. I'll probably talk about him later in my review. Now this film is actually like a period piece type film. It's actually set in the 1970s and it's by Bruce Wayne. It's actually an Elseworld tale too so this didn't really happen because it's like an Elseworld tale which is similar to like a Gotham by Gaslight you know and so on them kind of like stories. So um, you have this story taking place in the 70s and it's, it's about Bruce Wayne learning how to be like a master at martial arts with like other fellow students too as well like a Bronny. Bronze Tiger, Lady Shiva too as well, and of course you know Lady Shiva is the one that actually taught Bruce Wayne how to be like a very good fighter. But in this story, he's actually training with her and a couple of other fighters that, with this like sensei who eventually at one point goes missing. Now the film itself it actually jumps back from the past and into the present too as well. It shows like events when it was like training, then it jumps back into like the uh, I think the whole thing is actually in the seventies, but it jumps back to when they're already established, like Bruce Wayne is like Batman and so on. Now you have all these alternate characters, like this character known as um I think it's Richard Dragon. Now he's actually a uh, Robin. You can tell this actually Robin, you know, like Richard like Dick Grayson, but they call him Richard Dragon because he's actually like, kind of like a sidekick to Bruce Wayne throughout the story, but I just leave it at that. Then you also have like other characters too as well, like Bronze Tiger or Ben Turner, and he's voiced by uh, Michael J. White. And Michael J. White did that same character on I think on Arrow too as well. He did like on the uh, Arrow TV series, he played Bronze Tiger, so I thought it was kind of cool that he returned to provide the voice. Do you also have uh, Mark DeCostas who provides the voice of uh, Richard Dragon? I won't touch on some other ones, but I just leave it at that. But the film itself, um, I, I enjoy it, you know, it's, it's like a, um, the, the look of it and like the feel of it, even the music is definitely really based in the 70s. But there's like a strong Into the Dragon type vibe in the film too as well. Like Richard Dragon himself, the one I said is, that it's like a Robin Dick Grayson, he is definitely like a copy of like a Bruce Lee. If you notice it, you can tell they have him based on Bruce Lee and the Bruce Lee from Into the Dragon. There are even like a lot of moments, even like fight sequences. That are very similar to like Enter the Dragon. Even the music at times you know, sounds like Enter the Dragon. But uh, I thought it was a pretty entertaining film. It's like very violent. Like it's gonna be bloody heads getting chopped off. Cause like Lady Shiva, except with Shiva, she be chopping people heads off and all that kind of stuff. So it is like violent. But at times, like uh, it keeps jumping from the past and until like you know like the present. So it does that throughout the whole film. So you gotta be prepared for that. But I thought the ending of the film was kind of off, and he didn't really give like a full explanation of what the film was about. Was it about them trying to find their sensei or was it about them trying to fight this like evil force that's behind like the so-called gate. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna I just leave it down with touch on it too much. Now this was also directed by uh, Sam Liu and like I said I thought it was a pretty entertaining uh, animated film like in the um, DC uh, animated Batman films or animated films. I thought it was a pretty good film and this is directed video too so this came straight to video. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this one, you know, so I'm giving Batman Soul of the Dragon, I'm giving this a, a B-, minus, and do like they left this open, it was spoiler territory, and like they left it open for a sequel too, you, you can like, a, it looks like it would be another one of these, the way it ended. So I'm giving this a B-, minus. please leave a comment and subscribe too as well. Got mine from uh, Best Buy, Best Buy as usual, provides like these uh, collectible figures with their limited edition of... Uh, Blu-rays or these films, cause sometimes I miss them, you know. I'm planning on actually leaving them, you know, but I went ahead and decided to get this one. So this here is a bronze tiger, as you can see. <laughs> he even has the claws, like the tiger claws on his hand. Cause you know, Michael J. White provides the voice of this uh, character.